you don't know already, my name is Brandi Byhofer. I'm an artist and I make YouTube videos. I live in Burnaby, British Columbia, which is just outside of Vancouver. And I'm about to have Eggos for breakfast, which is sweet. I'm an artist who hasn't quite made it yet. And I'm going to explain what that means in a little bit. I live at home here with my mom, which is really helpful because it means that I don't have to pay rent. Like my overhead cost of living is pretty low. And I'm really, really grateful for that because it gives me the liberty to have all this time to work on my art. I work part time, but then I work like the rest of the time I'm at work making these videos and making my art, as you guys see through my videos. So it really gives me the freedom to, um, to, to work. <laughs> that's just it. It gives me the freedom to work on, on my artwork and to constantly be reaching for my goals. Uh, and I am very grateful for that. Uh, right now with my artwork, I feel like I'm really starting to hit a stride with my style where it's finally feeling... Um, it's finally feeling like solid. I finally feel like I'm doing something that's really like specific, I guess. Um, I still have like a few different projects going on. Um, googly eye paintings, I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have any here, they're all hanging up. Um, but uh, I'm, I've been doing this work with spray paint, like, like this piece. And this is something that I'm loving and that I want to build out as a, like a solid body of work. But before I was doing this work, I've done a lot of other iterations. Like, I really was into like word art. And this is one of the first pieces I made. It says hipster graffiti. And that's my mom's alarm. Hang on. Oh, I didn't hit the stop record button. Great. So I took like old paintings, painted on top of them and made that. I also made this one, which Moose is laying next to. Hi Moose. It says stoned. And it was like a zebra painting I did back in like high school or so. So anyway, that was one that I did a few years ago. This is one I did a couple years ago. Like you can just sort of see even at the beginning of the year, I was doing like this kind of stuff. My work has just like progressed a lot over the last few years. Um, and I would say, say is still progressing, but I'm now getting to a place where like I'm hitting a style where I'm like, I want to do a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot. There's other work too. So yeah, I was really into word art. Here's one, it says gender schmender. This one says, uh, I'm no Thomas Kincaid, but what I lack in show, I make up for in soul. This is one of my faves. It says, that marvelous ass. <laughs> um, that's not my work. Donuts, when I started painting donuts, this was one of the first donut paintings I did. It says, I do, I do what I want. <laughs> So my point in showing you all my work is to show you that like I am still developing as an artist. Um, there isn't like one thing that I'm doing really well. I've tried a lot of things over the last year and sort of one thing has led to another. I'm at a point where if I get an idea for something, I don't rule it out, I just try to do it. The spray paint thing is like my new favorite thing, so it is something that I do specifically want to focus on. But I'm still open to doing like block printing and um, and to do the googly eye paintings and stuff like that or incorporate them together. I also really want to get into making t-shirts. So I'm not really quite ready to be a niche artist yet and I'm not actually sure if I ever really will be. I have a feeling that the style I'm doing with the spray paint will be the dominant will be the dominant sort of style. I think now is the time where it's good for me to try everything and, and take my favorite parts of every project that I do and incorporate them into my United style. Like I'm still very much developing my style as an artist. I'm super fortunate that I have this spare bedroom in our place to use as my office. Uh, it's always in a state of disarray. You know, it's like not very large. Uh, but it certainly works and I'm really grateful to have the space to do it. That's another way that I am really lucky and really fortunate. It's just really nice. I feel like there's a lot of ways where I'm really f so fortunate to have the resources, the time, and, uh, and the space to be able to do my work. And I've been vlogging for a year and I have 276 or something followers now. Um, Honestly, like I thought I would be a lot further by now, uh, but I think that's the nature of it You know when you're at this level, I don't think I think like exponential growth isn't something that happens like right away It's sort of like it'll I'll keep progressing and progressing and then I Do believe that at some point I probably will hit a tipping point It's sort of like the 10-year overnight success where then all of a sudden like 
you were stepping into this success, but it took you a long time to get to there. And we see these YouTubers who seem to have had like exponential growth in a small amount of time. For example, like Casey Neistat. He did go, he's like at 7 million now and he's been vlogging for like two years. But he was making films for 10 years before he started doing that. And he had, I don't know, I don't know how many followers he had before he started vlogging, but you know, he built up at least something, something of a fan base. I'm telling you this to tell you like, I'm in that stage where I'm still really developing that. And this is like the beginning stage of everything for me. This is the beginning stage of, of making videos on YouTube. This is the beginning stages of art. You know, I'm finally in a place where like, I'm, my work's hanging in a diner, like my favorite diner in Vancouver. My work is hanging um, in like a creative resource hub in Richmond. People are ordering commissions from me. That feels really, really cool. And it's like, just the start and it's also like super uncertain like I have now finished all of my paid work and I don't know when the next one's coming in and that is that's sort of like a weird thing to think about my career is still very much in development however it's not discouraging in the least in fact it's very encouraging I really love what I do I'm happy to sit down and do it every day it's such like a crucial part of who I am to show up and do that work every day I just hope if there's any of you watching who you're in a similar place to me or if you're maybe even like you haven't made videos yet or you know you are still figuring out what style works for you as an artist you're where you're supposed to be and that's how I feel I'm where I'm supposed to be there are times when I thought I would be further and I think some of my biggest fears are n are, are some of my biggest challenges are feeling down because I'm not where I expect it to be but I have to remind myself like you, you are where you are, and it's probably where you're meant to be. Just remember where you're going, and enjoy, enjoy yourself, and enjoy your work on the way there. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, I really appreciate it. Drop me a comment, let me know what you thought. Hit that thumbs up, it really helps me out. Hit subscribe if you haven't already to see more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday.